Hi guys and welcome to another cast here with a special guest here, Mr. Rangru. Hello, this is Rangru. Uh, it's been a long time here. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, today we have a tournament here at the Steel Balalaka tournament. Oh, yeah, uh, 3v3. 3. Yep, and uh, we have WTF as NATO, wasn't it? Yeah, NATO. Hello. And, uh, and that B5P as uh, that other word that I kind of escaped my mind. Uh, Pact. Pact. Pack, yeah. Yes. And on B five P we have Namaruta, Tiara. Oh, Tiara. I do apologise if I do butcher your name. And Piss. V I just said. Piss I'm not even gonna pronounce it. I'm just gonna call you PSV. PSV. That's that sounds better. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then, yep. Of course we have WTF. We got you know um, Brandon Tong Tong and Hunter. Like um. It. Yeah. So, kind of a. Uh, Really choice of map, and not, I don't really think a lot of people like this map, but that's my opinion. And what do you think of this map, just from looking, like, overview? Um, it's an interesting map in terms of the fact that it has the middle point, you have the middle contested point, Echo, and it's bloody big, as you can see, and both sides you get access to a factory rare. It's absolutely fantastic, and a lot of players put ATGM infantry in there, and this whole middle point becomes pretty much a no man's land. The flanks are a little bit weirder, like Gulf and the Hotel and Charlie for example. It's a bit more close range play and especially up north in like India, Fox Rock Delta, where you got that bloody forest mountain in between them allowing for some infantry play. It's a bit of a weird map, it's very flat as you can see, but it does have a lot of it does have a lot of maneuverability options. Yeah, definitely. I think it favors more of a, maybe a motorized or like mm -hmm. an airborne kind of assault first. Mm -hmm. um, I think the Gulf and Juliet are Foxtrot sections, the wider sections are added under the, this in the beta. Um, I'm not too sure. I don't really like it. It makes it a bit big, but it makes the dynamic of the map change because uh -huh. you have to be, focus more. It'd be very easy to just put a uh, sneaky infantry CV to neutralize like Gulf, for example. I mean, you got all the way out forests down south where you could just plop any unit in there. It's like going through a needle in a haystack. Yeah, I guess you got a bigger forest on the outside if you want to flank around and do some other stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, it seems like there's a lot of flares going around, pinging anywhere, and they disappear. Everyone pinging where they want to be going, mainly by um, P5B, popping all yep. defensive markers. Seems like a new bit of a bit of like an invention to Charlie. You're going to be cap they're planning to capture that little factory just north of it. That'll be a yeah. very good. That's a fantastic position if they can get it. Yeah. That allows them to have a nice control over the bottom of Echo, added to the town factory town up north, and it allows them to move into Charlie, and they can take advantage of that forest to the left of it. Yep, definitely. You see here now the composition of units are re rather kind of a uh, helo heavy there for packed and part of Nido, I guess. Mm -hmm. A lot of MIH being thrown around, and a lot of, yeah, quite a few Puma Pirates, and uh, it seems mostly like a French French Airborne Assault. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's really easy. I'm not sure if that's Eurocorps or not, but that looks most that, likely. That looks definitely French. I don't see any other German From units, so like, mm -hmm. to, to kind of indicate a Eurocorps mm -hmm. deck. Maybe it's a mixed deck. Is there a mix? <laughs> no, I have no idea. Yeah. Let's just see. We're going to find out. We really sort of checked beforehand, but uh, yeah. whatever. <laughs> nah, we'll, we'll, spend, <laughs> we'll spend like two days, you know, going through the decks and discussing what's mm -hmm. good or not. And, and hopefully it's a start any minute now. Any yeah, minute. They're probably debating, you know, in, in the yeah. chat, like shit talking it, each other. <laughs> you know how it goes in tournament matches. Both, t I mean, both t times teams take a bloody long time. Doing a unit compositions, making sure all the helicopters are hovering over the forest just in the right angle so they can get to the point just five seconds faster than the enemy. Yep, but, and uh, probably some debating on, on mm -hmm. enemy strategies, yeah. and maybe this is psychological warfare, you know, delaying the start. <laughs> <laughs> and it also makes our life an awful lot harder as we have to continue talking about BS to us at the bloody start. Yep, so I guess any time now, that's been mm -hmm. four minutes now. Yeah, four minutes of us just rambling on and no gameplay. Yeah. yeah but continuing on the rambling, Red Four going for quite a heavy helicopter. So, like KA 52 Salamanders, MI 24s, MI 8s. I mean, that is, that's a very dedicated force, right? Yeah, a very nice mix of anti infantry, anti 
helicopter and anti anti things. <laughs> yeah, anti everything like because Ross yeah, uh, is brilliant at yeah. Or Red I do see. I do see he's using one of those Mi8 TVs, which means mm -hmm. that Victor, the ones with the 120 millimeter rockets, which shoots twice yeah. at the same or two rockets at the same time, which is really annoying mm -hmm. um, for the enemy. It's well, great it's for good. landing because you can yep. land the troops, and they when you land the troops, they rise up. So you can just do a quick rocket barrage to shoot the other enemy landed troops if it's like a contested, like helicopter and a helicopter landing at the start of a match, and that's probably what's going to happen as. Well, Blue Ooh. 4 also brought it. And there we go. And he Finally. <laughs> oh yeah, we got an F4 KWS being brought out. Nice little cheap, uh, that's like mid-price German interceptor. Yeah, so that might be just a Eurocorp stack mm -hmm. then, definitely, if, it, if it's that's yeah, a German unit. Yeah, that's Hunter, so yeah, he's going Eurocorps. Which is, uh, as we all know, a very popular uh, deck choice. Very good deck choice. Mm -hmm. um, I think some for just... most games, team games, it's... Uh... Very effective. It's just solid. Fight. You got every single counter. I'm not a big fan of it, not because it's bad. I just, it's just a bit plain Jane for me. I like a little bit of your gimmicky, very niche unit, but that's just me. Well, well we see the napalm coming in here now, oh, yeah. um, in the middle. Yeah. It's not really going to get mm -hmm. much, so. Is it? Both sides really like going for different like objectives. Blue Falls just heading for Echo, they want to get, yeah. And we got pretty much a rise of the Valkyries, MI24% to Delta. I believe that's two players mm -hmm. pushing in there with that many MI24s. Yeah, uh, I, it's, just, it's a roll of MI24s of mi 8 behind, ready to unload the VDVs or whatever infantry inside here. Oh, oh there's a CV. Mm -hmm. And they, they're going to throw a CV. I mean, that Humphrey does not stand a chance. The right goes at Shaft Rails, it's going to be doing a one last man stand. Dab's coming in. Yeah, <laughs> Everything did. Oh, we got and more Jeff Rails coming in. Oh. Oh, he used to get quite a few kills before they die. He has, he did spread them out, split them up, so they do pick different targets. Oh. And they're getting a few of my 24s, but they are getting into range where they can use a like, 50 cal mini gun. Um, but they do have two CVs there in Delta there. Oh. Two CVs. They so really is... want to hold it. Yeah, definitely. And... Um, it's very, not going to be a fun time. That's a very good point to have for Delta, because that allows them to spawn units here to attack the north north point of Echo, and heck, they can even move into Bravo, which is Blue Force home point. Which it seems like what they're doing at the moment, and that CV in Bravo is really, you know, not a good position. Mm-hmm. And if you look a little bit down in Echo, uh, WTF doing a very good job in capturing the Red Fall factory. Uh, yeah, yeah. take it there, but it's not too too much. I mean, if they lose Delta, which is a big important point, that denies you three early, well, effectively two mm -hmm. sectors there up top, and perhaps even Echo if they push hard at Red Form. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's you know, that's quite a lot of points being lost there. It's a great like frontal attack point to have because that having a reinforcement point where you can like right by the enemy is always a huge bonus to your to your plan. Yeah, definitely. It seems like no one went actually went golf there now and time bond them but but uh, I suppose it's not really uh, much of a concern right now for both teams if you know the top's kinda of taken. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I think Blue Fall is actually gonna have to focus on that middle to bottom like game. But they're doing a pretty good I do have echo pretty much on the uh, control for now. Yep, so either way, they're both kind of um, not scoring each, not scoring. So you know, either one gets a CVs out there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that you know Blue Four gets CVs out at this point because they need more grind units there. I, I, I think Red Four, they they definitely have the point advantage if they can, have, or sector advantage because if they plop some you know CVs into Foxtrot and what's that India, that's easily plus three points up right behind your lines. I do see a CV from Delta mm -hmm. going perhaps to Foxtrot right yeah, now. I mean, easy. it seems like it's all kind of secured now. I mean, mm -hmm. there's nothing. I'm not. I'm not too sure if Blue Four can do anything at the moment. Yeah. Those VABs and such. I really like if you look at Bravo, it got some Mi8 flanking around. Blue Four may want to start covering their flank because this whole forest in the north is now just a big zone for enemies to camp at. Those MI8s are gonna. There's nothing really back here that can stop him. Oh, some VLA miss. VLA yeah, Avengers. 
But I don't really see him yet. Oh, oh no, he's yet. splitting them, he's splitting them, yeah. He sees, he sees, and they're going to be locking on, and away we go. And there goes one MI8, and the other pivot, and yeah, that's going to yeah, be, be the end of <laughs> I think the blue for kind of should have if, uh, kind of uh, expected some sort of Russian Delta because um, no, I, I think they should met up there because these guys might have been known there. I can't remember if we could play them once or twice that did the same thing, uh, but it's always something to expect. Or maybe bring some more AA or have another player there um, in Delta. I'm not sure. Maybe they w they weren't too sure of where to go on or they didn't have they, enough practice together yet. Yeah. They probably knows. just focus, like, usually on this map, both teams love to just hit for Echo, and it's usually a big grind out play, yeah. Yeah, Delta puts out was two players, it was very concentrated, like, hey, they wanted to go, so they went, yeah. I mean, all those MI24s and MI8s, I, I just think I didn't expect it, it was, it was a very left-hand move. Yeah, definitely, yeah, uh, one that was definitely planned, eh, but... Plan. But now Blue Flood is going to push a little bit into the whole town now. They've got some Navy Seals and Marines with LVTP support getting into the town. If they can get a whole town, that would be a nice bring back for them as that is also a spawn sector near the enemy yep. point, but not as close in this. Bit of open ground between both of them. Could be a kind of a street swap if they do that then. Mm -hmm. and, you know, again, could deny um, Red 4 of Golf. Which I mean, they, they, they do have stuff there. Each team has uh, stuff in golf, but it's not a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> so, um, it's just better. a little bit of a skirmish down there. Just a couple of infantry on infantry. No side really putting a CV down. Sort yeah. of that backward lane river that no one really wants to bother. <laughs> As it is I've, very out of, it's just very out of, um, out of range. Yeah. I think they're now, um, the hunter is bringing CV perhaps for Echo at the moment there. And the helicopter in the path for I definitely want to start getting some points down because well, once Red 4 captures India, it's going to be a plus 3, and that's not going to be very good. No, definitely not, then. No, definitely not. And I think the Red 4 is starting to <laughs> flank around an Echo now, which is um, a pretty bad situation, you know. For Blue 4 now, it's not going to end well. You can cut. If, oh, if yeah. Because you see out. Sorry, wait. You see out like the north. That, yeah, factory, yeah, blue, that's yeah, Blue Force home factory, a yeah, close factory. They don't have anything in there except for like one squad of remits, which isn't all that much. And this is, this is fantastic for Redfall, because this whole like middle point of the map by Echo is completely undefended. They can move right through and start a nice little two front row. They could sandwich all those troops moving into Delta. I mean, that's just a fantastic position and they're taking advantage of it. I think they know because they are pushing so hard and trying to get into hotel. Mm -hmm. um, unless they get more reinforcements in, into Echo now, they're not gonna. Well, it's only reserved for the time being in the Rima. Um, but mm, there's some BTR 90s is coming up. Oh, yeah, that, that low and Rima squad is gonna die here. All night, all eight of them. But there That's are some. Important. I think some Jaeger is coming in though, so maybe they can provide support, but uh, they need at least a tank or something yeah, in there. There's a Marder team. More on, yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely not looking good for Blue 4 right now. They are moving to Hotel, but it's a very slow grind fight now. They just completely got control of the outskirt town, and now they're trying to get him. But as you see, it's quite pretty well defended. You've got quite a bit of infantry, and you've got those nasty AGS 17 grenade launchers launch. Yeah, don't against, yeah. They do have Navy SEALs, which is you know the better equivalent of them. But um, each one is over 300 confirmed kills in guerrilla warfare. Definitely, yeah. yeah definitely, very nasty units go up against. Also, because they have a grenade launcher, and grenade launchers are quite nasty. Hmm, definitely mm -hmm. more nasty than anyone can imagine. Yeah. They'll hunt <laughs> you down. And now Echo is completely under Red Four control. Got some MTLBVs to ensure side rush. And there's still nothing in Echo at all. <laughs> like, from the other side, as you see, I'm um, a little bit to the uh, right of it, but there's LT LSCR 40s and granites, which can easily just move into the other factory center in Echo and completely capture it. Indeed, definitely, there. And um, the Marder 2 and Panzer Grenz trying to take, retake the other factory is not gonna really have a fun time at the moment, there. Mm -mm. Oh, it's I mean, not. Yeah, sorry, I didn't know that. Just I no, completely no, no, lost no. the trail of Fortnite. I just completely <laughs> lost it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Sometimes it just stays out. Just rarely. 
stuff is happening and things are exploding, that's the main thing. Oh, I, I know. At the moment, I think you, Red Four, is gonna have a big advantage here. Yeah, this is uh, a huge one right now. I mean, now they're, they're pretty much got GoFundMe yeah, can throw in there. If they can plop a CV down into it, they can get a plus four, and uh, they're just they're just gaining the points. They are bringing in that whole dollar cash. Not cash, but you know, points. Point you get cash. cash in destruction, and we're not playing destruction. No, 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 not today, uh, not ever. <laughs> Ever again. God, for it. Yeah, now we I do have um, blue form even a uh, command infantry is even able to try and neutralize it, but look at all those BMPTs and AS-285s, they are just rolling through in yeah. a nice big line. Some Skyhawks coming in and doing some uh, strafing ones. Are these randoms? Yep, they are randoms. What a surprise. But if you didn't know, randoms really do not use the Skyhawks. Uh, I think he's earned the reputation of yeah. spamming some cheap <laughs> units. Perhaps you know centurions back oh, in yeah. back in the not long ago when they were pretty good. Mm -hmm, like 15 point runs, you know. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, uh, I I think we're all a bit guilty of doing that. Not me. No, no uh, centurions. <laughs> no. no. Oh well, there there's a decap in there, but yeah, there's BMPTs well, coming up. They are uh, they're gonna get destroyed in probably 10 seconds. I'll give, yeah, it give it five. Ten. Five, yeah, five now, four, three, two, one, and Jacob. Yep. Oh, no, oh, they got they're, ran they're away. Running away. They're, big, they're bugging off, but that is going to make the whole town now. Red Force again, they've got Napalm coming in, turned the two Phantom Twos. I mean, Napalm in the forest, it seems. There we go, a bit of the forest, a bit of the town. Oh, are they going to get the CV? I think they are going yep. to get that infantry. Oh, we've got Cassipes flying over the hills. Giving in some uh, nice 30 millimeter gunfire to support the infantry inside. Very good Cassiopeus, but the strop is there yeah. and, and it's still gonna kill it. And strops, as you may know, strops hate helicopters. They hit the side of them and they do anything to destroy them within a matter of seconds. They are quite stroppy, to say the least. That was a bad pun, I do apologize. No, 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 it's alright. Well, another Ponzo. news, another, another nice little fact strop. In Czechoslovakia, means ceiling. Ceiling, ceiling. Ceiling. So it's a ceiling gun. Ceiling. Well, it's like ceiling. Gun. It does shoot at the ceiling. That's what, it's, that's what it says in Wikipedia. So oh. not, I guess in like translation, ceiling means sky in Czechoslovakia. I don't know. I, I don't speak the bloody language. But that's what I'm inferring. Well. Wow. Okay. I, 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 I think you were in that one. <laughs> I think you're in that one, but yeah, you can see the Formosas and Hotel just coming up and just destroying uh, all that infantry in there. I don't think the CV is gonna get there. Yeah, that Hotel fight, it just turned into a grind out, and it's. I think Blue Four raised a lot of money and time into attacking it because they didn't really get all that far, and you just look, Red Four pretty much have complete map control over Echo and all the northern points, and they got very nice reconnaissance everywhere. I mean, they pretty much got very good map control. Yep, definitely do. Mm -hmm. um, I think though, Blue Four kind of forced mm -hmm. into make, making a push into a hotel to know from on the other side there. It was definitely a forced decision. If they perhaps didn't lose out, that they might have taken it more slowly and maybe push into India instead. Yeah, yeah. But who knows? Very also. unorthodox fight in terms of how the zones got captured. Because yep. usually Red Ford capture Hotel and that'll be easy, and then Blue Ford capture Delta, but that whole little Hindrust sure turned all the plans around, flipped the table. That's why I sometimes mm -hmm. think I know maybe a war anti helo just in case if you if you feel paranoid. I mean, especially as Blue Ford, you get quite a few cheaper options than Red Ford, don't? Like got, those snaps um, and those OH 60, mm -hmm. 58s and. And um, those Celtics, I think. Yeah, they're well. pretty expensive for Celtics, they're like 70. And they're, they're cheaper than the Red for equivalent of mm. 90 and so on. I think 1975 for the Polish Sokos, I can't remember exactly. Uh, 70, yeah, the Polish Sokos, the uh, last I remember, like 75 or 80 points. Yeah, and uh, the, those DHS uh, MI24s are like 90 points, and that's 100 points, 100 points for the like MI24B. Yeah. They're like the one that has like, MSOs, that's like 80 points. They did change that though. Let me see. There's one at the very top of the M24B. Click on it for some reason. 
It's 100 points, yeah. Like yeah. 100 points. So that's, you know, quite expensive. The P. Oh, I can't click it because sometimes you can see the unit info and replays, other times you can't. It's the mysterious. The mysterious force of magic of Eugene. I, oh, I see here that while we were discussing that, that they, the Red Fo Blue Fort did manage to spawn some stuff there. Oh, yeah. They completely missed that. They must have kept that for a second. Oh, I, I like what Hunter did. He has a he has a Fuchs CV right off Hun Hotel. And, no, should... could, and if Ooh. they can neutralize the CV in the hotel, they could move that Fuchs run, sneak it into the corner right in the hotel where that M11P Abrams is, spawn some units, just rush it with Marines, but where it's now under Red Fort control again. And yet they're going to be spawning a Rilk, and uh, that's just going to be... Yeah. And that hind as well is going to see it. And is it going to die? Is the rope going to spawn? And one twenty-four is going to spawn. It has to. Yeah, it goes. And the Fuchs is um, it's going to no get more. a bit Fuchs. Yep. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> yeah, good I, plan, I, but just enough. unlucky. Unlucky. I and think I mean at this Sorry, stage, good. Red is kind of had it now, or mm -hmm. had the entire game now. So mm -hmm. Blue, there's not too much they can right. do. Yeah, 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 definitely have it in the bag, as we all know, there's like three minutes left in the replay. But what did you think? Yeah, Blue Fork could have done a bit differently to hope that could have turned the uh, match a bit more in their favour. I think, I mean, definitely is get more, get more anti-healers for the top there. Um, perhaps I, I, no. I don't know about, yeah, that was a stupid amount. Yeah, like, perhaps maybe they, no, they should have expected that they would double push somewhere there and then I think uh, what Blue Fort did was they went one each side, like one middle left and right, so maybe that didn't help them there. I I think uh, I think in like a standard playstyle textbook, if I was like getting into this match normally, I would never have expected that Delta push. And I would accept it, yeah, yeah, I would capture it, but I would do my best to try and harass him. And yeah. try to recapture it instead of doing that grind play in the hotel. And they got it now, which is absolutely fantastic. And then they got a spawn point there, but it's a little bit too late. <laughs> Definitely. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I have seen that, you know, people pushing the Delta before uh, early with helicopters and napalm and stuff, and it works fine if they don't expect it. I, I, I think, no, that is the case. They did not expect yeah. it. Oh, I hear the rush. Spanish there. Inquisition. No one ever expects it. <laughs> but the um, actual fact was that they were um, Spanish Inquisition. It's kind of a spoiling here, but they were give. They had to give one month's kind of notice before going around the Spanish Inquisition, so they did know and <laughs> it's kind of expected. I, I and also how Red Ford has completely captured Echo. I think Blue Force sort of took advantage of hey, all the best stuffs in Delta. Let's have a nice lockdown on Echo so we can have the middle of the map controlled. And if they did, yeah, they could have hopefully maybe moved into India or helped re-attack Delta. I think maybe. if they just held onto the middle a bit more instead of trying to do that very nasty grind fight in the hotel, which, as we all know, when you're fighting over a town, an enemy town, it always turns into a nasty bloody fight. Especially if it's the by a spawn zone. Oh, there. look at all your Cobras. Look at all your Cobras in the hotel. That's fantastic. That's a nice little last two run. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna do too much though. So, but if they maybe. just had a bit more time, just a few like another like. If but, uh, Red Fort... Sorry. But there is a I don't know. But there's a lot of AA coming out. <laughs> yeah. I think if Red Fall didn't get as many points as they could as quickly, Blue Fall could have maybe because they now got old tower. Now he can do some stuff, but well, Red Fall run. They got the points. Yeah. And that's a GG. Fairly well, close. Close, yeah, close. In terms yeah. of kills. Not in terms of points, but no. 300 kill difference. Yeah, I think, like, in this game, what we can learn is that there was a well action plan there. Mm -hmm. the, from Red Ford did the action the plan that, mm -hmm. you know, I think they've made perfected this year. And um, that goes to show the front mm -hmm. kind of, they call it the land grab mm -hmm. start there. did work for them. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I think, like, you know, you should watch out for that in the future then. Like, um, like helicopter rushes in certain maps are absolutely fantastic, especially the bigger runs where the enemy forces aren't going to be as concentrated in all the different areas, so they're a bit more spread out because you can just have a crap ton of hinds and transport helicopters unloading infantry and blowing up all your light armor and tanks everywhere. 
and then capturing the point. But overall, I think it's, as, a, as you said, a bloody run executed plan by uh, P5B. Yep, and uh, I think that goes for. Uh, I, I keep forgetting what I was going to say there. <laughs> um, things that are in my mind, I can't remember. But yeah, it's I was like going to say. Groundhog Day in your memory. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this is a good first kind of replay that we've got mm -hmm. here, so I believe we'll have more replays soon and we'll we go through them as well. <laughs> better, better do, and hopefully this won't be, you know, the tournament won't be cancelled as per other tournaments, war yeah. game tournaments, due to reasons. History, we've uh, yeah. some war game tournaments. No names, no names, but just, just saying. No, yeah, Clash of the Clans. <laughs> cough, cough. <coughs> Alright, yeah, and so I think that's all we have time for. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, that's it to wrap from me and uh, from Rang, I guess. Until next time, then. Take care. Bye bye.